Good morning, welcome to my daily live stream, yet another action pack weekend. Wow, it's just too much to talk about in one monologue. Um, let's just start and finish with my horse Karma. So I think it was his 14th or 15th race up in class at Sha Tin, down in distance, 1400 meters, class two race. He came third. It was, I wouldn't say electrifying because nothing is like a win. Um, I think, did he miss a chance to win? Yes, I think so. Am I grateful? Am I happy? Of course I am. Third is better than fourth, is better than fifth, is better than sixth, is better than seventh, is better than eighth. Um, am I disappointed? I don't know. You know what I mean? Keep an answer. I think he should have won. You know, you know what I'm saying? Am I greedy? Yes, of course. I'm greedy for that win, but it was amazing. But what was more amazing, I guess the win, if it had happened, the win had been, would have been the most amazing thing. But it would have capped off. If he had won, it would have capped off the most incredible day ever now if he had won he would have been it would have been a hat trick a pure hat trick because he's won his last two starts um he came third he earned me some good money great stuff i started the day with an interview for the chinese media which was great because the opening race for the season they did a two minute interview with me my thoughts on how karma was going to do i i feel so vindicated i feel so recognized it, it was just fantastic to interview anybody else um i then was very, very, very lucky and privileged, honored, proud to host the Consul General of the United States. Um, he came to the paddock with me to to greet my trainer, greet my jockey, see my horse parading, and then he watched the race um, with me side by side from my usual spot just in front of the, the, the winning post, the finish line. You can see all of this on all my social media. It was, it was just immense. It was just immense to be in a position to be able to host the Consul General like that. I feel uh, truly, truly blessed. I mean, you know, I could go on and on, but just thinking about that whole experience is just so humbling. Um, I truly am in a privileged position and, you know, I'm grateful to all of you guys who continue to watch my videos. Uh, I try to post everything in my life. I try to, of course, that's just not possible. I try to give you a taste of as many different things so i hope you're enjoying yourself if you want to watch the the very edgy videos they're all on my youtube don't worry um and i think the one-stop shop as always for everything roshan is my instagram account at sam sailor uh, i'm going to call the united states and uh, i don't really know what we're doing but it doesn't matter um i want you to all help me like and share the live that would be great and we shall get going My dear friend. How are you? I'm you're okay. So lean, mean machine, Roshan. Sorry, say that again. But you were looking so lean. So lean, mean, Friday machine. Yeah, that was on Friday. I, I've had a, a weekend of disgusting eating. And, you know, I put on a lot of weight very fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised. I think I put on like 4 kg over the weekend. I know that sounds ridiculous, okay? But it, it yeah. it's like, it's like, you know, if I if Monday to Thursday I'm I'm really good, right? I can get really lean in those few days, and then as soon as the carbs and the garbage enter my system, the weight comes yeah. back on really fast. It, it's just it, that's why I try to put out you know every other week a flat Friday flex video <laughs> just to show everyone how lean I can get, just to prove to myself how lean I can get. But I mean, like the Monday to Thursday eating is is one is unsustainable mentally, okay. I'm not starving myself. I'm still eating uh, more calories than, than some people, but I just have a, a ridiculous appetite. I mean, I, I'm a machine. I can just eat. Uh, number two, also, it's not always that easy to eat clean Monday through Thursday because anything can happen. Like, so today, my, my sister is in town from Malawi, Africa. My mom's sister is in town from St. Martin. So I'm having lunch with them today, so impossible to eat clean. I'm having dinner with them tomorrow. So that's, you know, two days out of my cl four clean days that are already going to be wiped, okay? Uh, I have uh, an old high school friend coming to town from Newcastle on Friday. I'll be with him over the weekend and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, this is going to be a disaster, you know what I mean? And I have my aunt in town, my dad's sister from Dallas, right? So she's staying with me. So it's been very tough, man. It's been very, very, very tough. 
uh, you know, you fall off the wagon, it's very difficult to get back on, and then you get back on for a day or two, and then you fall back off it because you're entertaining and stuff. But I don't know, where are you watching yeah. me? Are you what? Are you keeping up with me? Yes, well, a little bit, yes, I am. So I my, am my yeah. horse ran over the weekend on Sunday, and I was yes. very lucky to host the Consul General of the United States. Uh, he, he accompanied me in the paddock pre-race to see my horse being yes. paraded, to meet my trainer, to meet my jockey. And I did tell him a number of times that if he wanted to watch the race from the balcony with my father, he was welcome to, that I have a pretty ritualistic uh, 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 sort of uh, vantage point. Um, but, you know, I mean, he, he was very cordial, but he kept asking me, where are you going to watch the race? Where are you going to watch the race? And I said, Consul General, I mean, I'm going to watch it like in amongst the public and stuff, right at the winning post, the finish line and stuff. And he really wanted to, and I gave him the option many times to watch it from a splendid owner's balcony with my father, but he opted to be a man of the people, which he very much is. He's a very interesting Consul General that we have here representing your nation. He's been the most outspoken, which de defies his, his persona. Because when you meet the man in person, and I've met him a number of times, I've met him at least three suits, um, he's so gentle and he is so, I don't know what the, the opposite of uh, being an opinionist, opinionist is, you know what I mean? But he really doesn't have an opinion. He doesn't have a dialogue that's forced or anything. Yet when he talks to the media and he's far from vibrant, okay? Um, yes. He, he's very stoic, but he pushes a very harsh United States policy, okay? Um, which makes him, in my opinion, having gotten to know him a little bit, an amazing servant for your nation, an amazing servant for his boss, which is obviously, what's the Secretary of State called again? I forget. Uh, who is our Secretary of State? I an amazing, right the now. best Secretary of State ever. His name has escaped me. Uh, whilst I don't yeah. agree, whilst I don't agree with the current Secretary of State's politics, okay, whilst yeah. I don't agree with our current Consul General's politics, their service, right, uh, how they perform their duties is stellar. Uh, this current Secretary of State is the best Secretary of State in the history of the United States. Uh, Anthony oh. Blinken, right? Anthony Blinken, right? He's absolutely the best. Yeah. I, and I think that, I think that, I mean, it doesn't matter on which side of the aisle that you're on. This guy does his job stellar. You know what I mean? He, he's a magnificent servant of his boss. I'm not going to say he's a magnificent servant of your nation because he's not fully representative. But he's the best right. servant of the current president and the best secretary of state in the history of the United States because of what he does. And Anthony Blinken doesn't blink. And the guy's an amazing guy. And I almost feel that we have our own Anthony Blinken here in Hong Kong in, in terms of this consul general. So it was really my honor, priv pleasure, privilege to host him. Look, I could go on forever about me. What's happening with you? Um, nothing, just uh, time to update some wardrobe stuff. Um, like you, I've been e eating bad, so now I'm trying to peel off the the extra five to eight, ten pounds that I want to get off. So, just started a disciplined diet uh, actually yesterday. So, trying to eat super clean, trying to stay under two thousand calories a day. Yeah, that type of deal. So that's exactly yeah. what I do. I mean, so on a good day, right? <clears throat> I would eat a four hundred gram steak for breakfast. Okay. Yeah. A four hundred gram fish for lunch and a 400 gram scallops or prawns for dinner, followed by grapes yeah. and a protein bar. And that would keep me under 2000 calories. That would keep me yes. over 200 grams of protein. Uh, but uh, you know, the breakfast and lunch is easy to do. The dinner to do without carbs, the dinner without to do something mentally satiating is the hardest part. You know what I mean? Yes. So I, I, I can be, I could, I can fast, I can, eat so clean lunch and dinner but I, uh, breakfast and lunch I can work out seven days a week uh, obviously which I which I don't and I and I shouldn't but but the dinner is is it what screws me every time you know I mean otherwise I, I'm miserable I'm miserable I cannot sleep I'm miserable I cannot unwind uh, and so forth and you know everybody has I don't know if it's a vice or a weakness but that's one of mine um, what am I making you today uh, so I need, I need a pair of straight navy blue uh, trousers. Yeah. Okay. 
and then I need another sports coat that I can wear year round. Okay. Something different, different color, different character to it. Um, you know, not 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 something wow. I got but you. Something like that's that's a really good solid jacket type deal. Excellent, excellent. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm gonna spoil you. I promise you that. Uh, you know me well enough and you know the process well enough to know when you are being spoiled and we're going to spoil you. Uh, you're very dear to me. Uh, I mean, you just, I, I mean, you're huge. You're being so good to me in, in such a dire time and I'm grateful and I'm going to show you how grateful I am right now. Okay. So let me turn the camera around and okay. we shall get going. And if you cannot see or hear me at any point, just holler. And this is all about you. So. This is Marzoni Fall Winter 2024. Okay, our newest stuff, and we're going to make you a Marzoni sport coat. And we're going to do something that you haven't had before, and we'll talk about the navy trousers at the end. I like this olive with blue. Okay, it is timeless. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I've made you anything olive. Okay, it has this tealy yeah. blue in it, which makes it easy to match up. Forget about the pants here, right? But honestly, it's not like a stark olive jacket. It's not like an in-your-face screamer green, all right? So this is one thing that I really like for you, all right? Um, and I don't like something like this at all. Uh, you know, and I think the difference it, between the two is is very, very stark. And and I would ask you to lean on my, my judgment and my professionalism for that. Um, I like this, but not for a guy your size. And I like this, but not for a guy your size and built. I like this because it's teal, right? So it's a bluey green. And I love the fact that there's yellow in it. So I, I, I find that so super interesting. And then they're completely different jackets. They're a completely different vibe. Even though they both have green and blue elements they're starkly different. And then again, it's some, both, are, both are something that you do not have, that you just do not have in your wardrobe. Not a fan of something like that right. for you. Right. This is too basic. I mean, I don't know if you're thinking of something ba this basic. Now, even up here, this is a beautiful jacket. Now let's look at this jacket here. This is a gorgeous jacket, but this is a winter weight jacket, right? And this is very much grab and go, all right? Extremely grab and go much more grab and go than say something like this all right this fabric is superb this is laura piana uh and stuff but i i still think i don't think this is so grab and go even though it's blue i i have a great feeling that this is much more grab and go than anyone would at the start believe okay because this still falls into the blue family this still falls into the earth family so no issues and we're still going to look at a bunch of stuff and i've reviewed all your old files so i have all of you here okay this is all you i know what i've done for you in the past all of this is all you so don't worry i'm well aware of what we have done for you so this also is 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 nice it is pretty clean i really like the light brown in it i write i like this very washy blue it is not as clean a blue as this, and, and that's why I gravitate towards it, but I still like the first two more. But you can see how it makes up, it is lovely. Okay. And it is truly a sport coat in, in you know, that American essence. Now this I love, and I usually don't like dark colors, but this is such a dark green that you can get away with it in any situation. Look at it made up over here. So whilst I, I very rarely um, uh, recommend dark stuff to people, because it's green, because there's black in it, I think it's a wow. It's an absolute wow. Okay. So we are entering winter time, right? So I'm not going to be recommending uh, very bright summer colors. The weight of the fabric is still light enough to be worn year round. Now, I like these two as blazers, all right? Brand new fabric, nobody's ever had it before. I've just completed a suit in this fabric here, which is just off the hook. So this is the gray version, okay? 
and I'm proposing the blues to you, but I'm also proposing the gray as a sport coat. Now, this has been hanging here for a couple of days because my client who's been with Goldman Sachs for over 20 years here, he's Goldman straight out of university. Um, he's actually out of town, so he hasn't come in to try it, but it's been hanging here Monday, yesterday, and Saturday, okay? And every client of mine has been like, oh my God, this jacket is just a wow. So I think this would be a brilliant blazer for you, either in the gray or the two blues, all right? I'm gonna keep you away from all this basic stuff. I think we have much better options than these two right here. Now, if you're insistent on blue, then this is a very striking blue. But my fear is that, oh yes, it's a beautiful brand new jacket when you get it, but very quickly it becomes just another blue jacket. So that is my fear. Okay. The same thing, this stuff kind of stuff has been around for years. My job is to keep you ahead of the curve. This kind of stuff is it's readily available everywhere. I mean, if it was half a dozen years ago, maybe I'd be keeping you ahead of the curve, but not with this stuff. Not with stuff that you can pretty much buy anywhere that is not, you know, unmistakably uh, contemporary in these times. This is an interesting charcoal jacket, but if we were gonna go gray, I'd rather do the one behind us. Yeah. Love this, but it's too light for right now. Like this brown, but I think it's too much brown. There's, there's, there's not enough to it. I like this brown as well, but I think I've done stuff with red in it for you before. So I'm gonna keep you away from red. You know, I'm building your, your base quite white. This is a beauty. Without a doubt, this is a beauty. It feels a delight. It's gray, so we're staying away from blue. And it's got such a lo lovely light brown in it. I think this is my favorite so far. It's my favorite so far because it is definitely grab and go because it's gray, okay? It doesn't make you hesitant that, oh, it's green, it's teal, it's olive, etc., etc. okay? So, so far, this is definitely my number one. Okay. And there's no issues wearing this with any color trousers. Gray and brown go with blue. Too light, too sooty, too bright, too rich. I really like the mud color, but I think it, it, it makes up very, very rich. I like the other one better. I, I still really like that a lot. I like this brown and blue. It's gonna be hard for me to try and talk you into this one until you, unless you love it, even though I like it, because that gray I just think is, is outstanding. This is a beauty. And if you're willing to invest in a brown jacket, wow, what a beautiful, pretty, pretty, pretty brown with blue. Just lovely. We're nearly coming to the end of the book. Okay. A bit too stark. Too gray, I like the purple in it, but it's too gray. Doesn't offer you enough spectrum two out there. Oh, this is nice. This is gray and green. It's gray and green. Deal. Trying to work out the colors in it. Purple. Deal. Uh, yeah, purple. Now I'm starting to see purple in it as well. This is a very interesting color. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah. So this is a brand new book I've not worked with. Uh, unless it's been cut, I haven't worked with it before. Okay, but that doesn't mean we haven't worked with Marzoni historically and doesn't mean you haven't experienced Marzoni. So there's nothing to worry about that. But that is very interesting. Yes, I agree. I haven't done something like this for someone before. Okay. This is a wow, a purple jacket like this is so good. The purple here also is so good, oh my goodness. They're just so beautiful. I almost wish, I mean, I do wish that instead of purple being matched with the blue, try and make it mainstream, the purple would be matched with a the black. Then it would be such a nice evening jacket. You're, you're really spoiled for choice. I think this is gonna be a tough decision for you. Again, this gorgeous purple, look at that. Such a beautiful purple. Yeah, some of these purples are just negating what's coming after and what has come before. Okay, so okay. I'm just gonna show you a couple more things. I love this, but we've done something similar in the past and yes. it's the wrong time to get it because uh, it is, we are heading into winter and the winter where you are is very cold and dark. Let's go back to the yeah. beginning, shall we? I'm going, to, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in Florida the next, next 12 months. Okay, let's recap what we talked about. 
Do you love this olive and okay. blue? Yeah, I do like the olive color. Yeah. Do you like this charcoal and olive? Maybe not as much as the other one. Sure. Do you like this teal and yellow? Yes. Okay, so we've got two on the list. And you stop me if there's something else that you like. I'm also going to cut some stuff out. Do you like the blue and light brown? Yeah, so so. Okay, let's toss that. Bless. Bless. This is one of the ones that I really love, the very dark green and black. Yeah, it's difficult for me to see those colors on the phone, Roshan. It's green and dark, sorry. Can you see it better now? Yeah, I can. It just it looks dark on dark. Don't worry that. Let's let's forget about it then. So far we've been very successful with our methodology, so so we'll continue to vest and trust in it. Are these two basic? Do you like the gray behind me? It's too basic. Gotcha. I'm going to cut this because I like the other ones better. I think based on what you've said so far, I think we're going to stay away from prim predominantly blue jackets. Okay. I just don't see the point. I like this, but I like the other ones better. Still like the other ones better so far. This is one that I really liked, the gray with the light brown. You like this or you like the, the, the olive or the teal better? I like that one. Um, I would say maybe the olive I like better. Okay, cool. Forget this brown and blue, the olive is better. This was lovely. The brown versus blue, with blue. Do you like that or do you yeah. like the olive? I, I do like that one. Let's hang on to it for a second. Purple one one more time. Let's hang on to it for a second. So the purple ones are coming up. Okay, so this is one that I found very interesting. Yes. Let's hang on to this for a second, okay? And we'll come back to it. And then here's the purple and navy, but this is a better purple with blue. I like that quite a bit. Okay. This is a very dark purple, but I prefer the one before. Reds I've done for you already. Yes. And that blues we've looked at, we've done something pretty similar. Let's go back and see where we're at. Okay. So we've got an olive and blue that we both really yeah. like. Okay. We've got the teal and the yellow that we both really like. Okay? Yes. And I'm not in a rush. You know that I'm never in a rush. Okay? We can keep going back and forth through this until you, you decide. Okay. I'm just helping you shorten the list. And if I'm shortening it too much, you, you just tell me that I am. All right? Here, this is the gray and light brown that I come back to, but you expressed to me you like the olive better. So we're gonna drop this now, okay? Okay. This is one that you like also very much. So the question is, do you like this more than the olive? Do you like this more than the teal? No, it's got too much. I, I, I see what you're seeing. This is the very interesting one. I keep coming back to that one, Rashawn. Yeah, okay, good. Let's hang on to this for a second. Is that one I can wear around? 
You can wear this year round. It's great for Florida. In fact, I, you know, I work with a client of mine who I've worked with since the year 2000. His name is Ben Yogo. And he grew up, I think he grew up in Philly, then spent okay. a bulk of time in Manhattan and now is settled in Florida. And I made him the two most amazing jackets. And he, he's well settled in Florida with his, his two teenage kids and stuff. And he was explaining the dynamic uh, of how it is there and doing business there because I haven't seen him since before COVID and I just saw him. So this would be, you'd be very well placed in Florida with this, with your circle. What color, what color pants can I wear that? Definitely the blue, definitely black, and definitely charcoal gray. So blue, black, charcoal gray, and yes, a light gray as well. Okay. Okay, let's hang on to this. And then there's this purple and blue. So that's the last one. So the question is, so we've got a short list of four. The question is, do you like the olive and blue the most? Do you like the teal the most? Let me see the teal again. There you go. Uh, Are you ready to drop the teal? Yeah, let's drop the teal. We have the purple and blue. Yeah, let's and, drop we, that one. and we have the very interesting one. Let's go with the interesting one. Okay, great stuff. Great choice. Okay. So you are meeting a new set of clientele. This is a new audience for you. New people. Um, no, not really. Just uh, more working closer with the corporate office. Okay. So in your opinion, and we've done both for you, a two-button jacket or a one-button jacket? A two button jacket, two button jacket, or a one button jacket? A one button jacket. One button jacket. You like, uh, we'll definitely do the Barquetta breast pocket with the curve and kick. We know that. I've always said to you at your height that you should always go with a peak lapel. I don't know what you're thinking okay. for your audience now. Do you want to go with the peak, which we've been very successful with, or revert back to the notch? Okay, I'm going to go a little bit wider than I've done in the past. When we started working together, progressively, we started here and we kept narrowing as we went along a little bit. I'm yeah. going to go back a little bit wider because that's what's, uh, you know, I hesitate to word, use the word in, but that's basically pretty much it. So we'll do a slightly wider peak lapel. We will do the undersized flat pockets. That's best for you. The undersized pockets, not the full size. Unless you were thinking Patch pockets for this jacket. Uh, no, I don't think so on this one, Rochelon. We did that on the uh, other Marzoni sure. fabric you did. I mean, let's just go back to the other, the other pockets. So we'll do the undersized flat pockets. Do you want the no. ticket pocket? No, I don't think I need a uh, ticket pocket. I'll do overlapping buttons on a fully functional cuff for you. Sure. Would you like a gauntlet? No, thank you. Okay, I will do a single center then. Okay. I'm very hesitant after, when I work with a client many times closely, then I'm always happy to push them to increase the roping on the shoulders. When there's such a big gap, I always revert back to soft shoulders. And with this color, this light, and this stuff, we're gonna do very soft shoulders for you, okay? Good. Half lining for Florida or full lining? No, I think we can do full lining. Okay, so full lining, not half lining like this, okay? Right. Okay, yeah. excellent. <clears throat> Let's now pick the lining. <laughs> and it's been quite a while since we worked together. Yes. So I am pretty sure that you won't have seen any of these. Now, I really like this. Those two go great together. So I'm just gonna pull that out. There will be some that you have seen before. There'll be many that you probably wouldn't, it, but I, it's, there's no point in showing you all of them. I'm gonna show you what I know goes great. So these feathers actually go great. This is not one of the newest ones, but the color scheme works very well. 
So let's hang on to this. Find you stuff that's really, really great. Hey, buddy, bro, why don't you come visit Hong Kong? Would love to. I will one day. But why don't you bring your family for vacation? We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. You know I mean, when I would. When you come back to the states, how do you fly? So, say that again. When you come back to the states, how do you fly? So you know that I was just in Dallas. No, uh -uh, I didn't know you were in Dallas. So my dad's sister lives there. And so yeah. we have a big house there that's pretty empty because she has two boys who are similar age to me and they both have their own places with two kids each, right? So we have plenty, yeah. plenty of room. So I took my, uh, my entire family and I had a, just the most incredible 17 days there, okay? I had so much fun. I was so humble. My family was so good to me that my aunt, my uncle, my two cousins and their two wives basically gave up their entire lives for 17 days. And I mean that wholeheartedly. Um, to cater to us, it, it was just a phenomenal experience. They were so good, I never expected that. I was happy just sitting at home, you know, basically decompressing and stuff. Um, and, and then coupled with the fact that everywhere I went, I was recognized, all right? Whether it's in a shopping mall, uh, uh, in, in the restaurants, breakfast, lunch, dinner, I was like, I was like, Jesus, wow, so good. It was such, it was such a great vacation. It was so good. So I flew to Chicago and then I transited there for a few hours and then I, I jumped on a plane to Dallas. I, I, I changed terminals in Chicago. So I'm going through TSA and I've just landed in Chicago off like a 15 hour flight. And even the, t the TSA officer grabs me and asked me if he can have a selfie with me. It was just, it was, it was fucking wild. It, it was crazy. So I flew, I flew 15 hours to Chicago, was in, in O'Hara for a couple hours, and then two hours to Dallas. And then I did the same thing coming back. I flew two hours to Chicago from Dallas, two and a bit hours, and then a couple of hours in Chicago, and then 16 hours to Hong Kong. Um, you don't have to fly east. You can go via San Francisco or Los Angeles. Right? Okay. So you fly to San Fran or Los Angeles, and then you fly uh, uh, direct to Hong Kong. But see, I chose Chicago. The primary reason was because it was the shortest and most convenient layover, okay? Um, and the second reason was that, to be honest, like, I mean, it's better you try and kill as much of the journey as you can in one go, right? It's, 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 it's shittier to do, say, 12, 13 hours and another three, four hours. It's better to do 15 and two. Do you get what I'm saying? So I've never done that before, flown to Chicago. I've always done LA or San Fran, but this was a way better option for me, a way better option. But I only stumbled into this option because the layovers in LA and San Fran were so shit. They were really, really awful. I like this lining too. I think that goes great. The color scheme is perfect, but I'm still, unless you love it, I'm gonna drop it because the other two are better. Let's go with the other two, let's go with the other two. Yeah, we'll just go through this book. And then I've got another one potentially. I don't wanna, I don't wanna shortchange you in any ways. I think the majority of these are the same. It was only the front that was slightly different. I just wanna check the back here to see if there's anything. Nope, it's majority the same. So I'm gonna to toss this book and I'm gonna to go to the last one. Now, there are many that I'm gonna like, but they just, it's not that they don't go, they maybe overshadow the, the fabric a little bit. This doesn't. Now those, that goes really well together, but I would still say the first one that I showed you goes best with it. And then the feathers are really nice, but we'll come back to that. I'm gonna yeah, drop. I, I, I agree with you on the first one. Yeah, when, we're just gonna take a quick wander through this. Okay. There's gonna be some older ones that are gonna come up that go great. And I'm not sure if you've had those older ones when we, yet when we first started working together, okay? So one of them that goes well is that one there, okay? I'm just gonna hang on to it for a second. 
Now, these two here, you have definitely seen me recommend to you a number of times before. But these two here go the best with it. In fact, if you like them and haven't seen them and haven't had them before, then all the others that we could look at is irrelevant. These are the two best ones. Okay, so let's get rid of them because this is all about you. I like that, but I like the others better. Agreed. So what I think we're, we're going to do is we're going to go with the first one if you have no objection. There is one more. I think forget the feathers. Since you like the first one and there's much more going on in the first one, we can definitely use that. There is one more. See, I love this, but you know, I don't want to pair black with it. There's one more. Ah, here it is. This is lovely as well. It, that changes it up nicely. Yeah, so then these two, and now looking at them side by side, I would go with this part. Definitely. Yeah, agreed. Sold, right? Great stuff. Excellent. Yeah. Mazun button. Thank you. Okay, so you've experienced the burgundy buttons before. Or your pen. You've experienced the burgundy buttons before, but they really are the ones that go best with it. Okay? Um, okay. And so it's either going to be the burgundy or the ivory. Always remember when I present to you, and if you don't like your button choice, we can change that. That's the easy thing. I would do the burgundy. Okay. The last two buttons you want in the ivory or all four in burgundy? Um, I think you just keep it simple. And okay. Them all, in all four in burgundy. Okay. The last buttonhole here in burgundy? No, you can change the color. When you say change the color, a different color suggestion? Sure. So then I recommend ivory. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, four burgundy buttons and one ivory hole here and yep. one ivory hole here. How about one sure. ivory hole up here? Uh, or just keep it to the cuffs? Yeah, I would just keep it to the cuffs. That's fine by me as well. Okay. Flannel. Underneath the collar, you have the ivory flannel in a small book that they provided us with. Do you remember? Yes. yes. I, I, I know that. Underneath the collar, I actually want to put purple. Okay, that's fine. You're happy with that? Yes. To be honest, if we had a purple button, I would, I, I would you know, be looking at that strongly as well. Okay, so grab that. The stitching, with because it's a sports jacket, I recommend the deep press stitch like I'm wearing here, the finite line. There's already okay. so much going on that you wouldn't want to decorate it with dots. No way. There's just so much going on. Agreed. And then you wouldn't want it bare, right? That's not what a bespoke jacket is about. So we would go deep press. Yep. Do you have any questions for me? None. Do you have any questions for Bob? No Okay. I know that you want a pair of blue trousers, okay? But let's just hold that for a second, all right? I know you want blue. Well, here's why, is because the last pair I had, I left them at a hotel and I never got them back. So I'm without the deep navy traditional. But you don't get on the phone with me every day, so just bear with me, okay? I like this gray, okay? And it goes great with your new jacket. It just goes excellent with your new jacket. Absolutely superb with your new jacket. So good with your new jacket. I could go on and on. And then I like this gray also. The one here. With your new, your new jacket. And I know the fabric is exceptional. And it's a real head turner. And I like this gray with your new jacket. Okay. And, I'm, and we're going to look at blues. Don't worry. I have so much blue. Here's a midnight blue, which is way too dark. 
here's a classic navy, um, American navy. So on the darker side, a British navy would be lighter. That blue is too bright for mainstream. Yes. Hmm. Even this is a bit too bright for mainstream if you're looking for that go-to blue. Yeah. This steel gray is lovely as well with your new jacket. Okay. In fact, I like that more than anything we've looked at so far. Uh, putting the navies aside so forget everything else the steel gray is a wow that is that is just awesome so forget about the light grays now because originally i was thinking light gray but i'm seeing that steel blue it's great this blue is too bright this blue is way too dark so unless something amazing comes up it's a nice blue. I normally like texture, but because we've got so much going on with the jacket, I'm going to go with a flat. Same thing with this. Forget about that blue. That's a nice blue, but the darker one is better for you. That's a nice blue, but I already know what you are thinking in your head, my friend. So the two choices for you are going to, sorry, steel gray or this blue that I'm about to show you. So it wasn't this one. So that one wasn't that one. It might have been that one actually. That's the steel gray. Yep. So it would have been the second navy. I don't want to do that. It's funny stuff that I loved so much before, I cannot bring myself to recommend. Not that I dislike it, it's just that my, like I always say, my job is to keep you ahead of the curve. So it wasn't this. Was it this, this one? Like yes. Navy, a this is the American Navy, okay? So we got the steel gray, we got the American Navy. Just let's hold one second. Okay, let's just hold one second because I want to show you some British Navy. Here's a lovely British Navy, color wise. The wool is of course Australian and it is just a wow of a fabric. Oh my goodness. Okay, better than the Marzoni. It's just a bit softer. The Marzoni is still up there. So we're talking about marginally better. When I say better, not quality, I mean touch to my hand. Okay? When I say better, I just mean touch to my hand. This is too light and bright. Help me see that. Is this the same or is it different? Same, same one, right? Yeah. Same one. So I've got one more here. No. Okay, so we have our top three. It's the British Navy, the American Navy, or the Steel Grey. Let's go with the devil that we know, and let's go with the, the American Navy. Sound good to you? Um, go back to the steel gray. Here we go. Okay, let's do let's do this for Sean. Let's do let's do both the steel gray and the American Navy, and I will send you uh, some more money here in a little bit. No problem at all. Sit down. And I need, I need, um... This is garbage, one point. So, sorry, what, just bear with me one second. I've just been disturbed here. So I'm making you one uh, American Navy pants, one steel gray pants. Now go back to your question. Yeah, I need belt loops on both. Okay, so belt loops on both. Flat front, correct? Yes. 
and no pleats, correct? Yes. So, excuse me, no cuffs, right? No cuffs. No cuffs. Yeah. No cuffs, yes. Sorry. A bit of activity going on around me. Okay. Couple of things. Um, the navy trousers, I do either the navy buttons or the dark brown buttons. What's your preference? Navy. Okay, so navy buttons. The steel gray trousers, should I pair them what with... Sorry? What do you think? I think dark think brown. I think dark brown. It doesn't need to be so demure. Okay, that's fine. Then go dark brown. Okay, dark brown. The, uh, <clears throat> the gray, the steel gray trousers, let's match it with the burgundy buttons. So okay. it goes in theme with the jacket. The burgundy buttons look great with the, gr with the steel gray. Let's take a look at it when it's done together. When I present to you, and you, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, we can revert to something more basic. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Couple of questions. The last jacket that I made you, I go with that fitting. I know you put, yeah. say you put on weight, but you're gonna drop it. So I go with the last jacket fitting? Yeah, it was the, uh, the gray suit, correct me? From correct, right, right? you are correct. Yeah, yeah. And the, the jacket, this jacket's and pants fit fine. Okay, excellent. Do you need any shirts or are you good? I'm good. Excellent, all right. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. All right, do you guys have any questions for Bart? No piping. Yeah, we'll do a piping, that's burgundy a great idea. Burgundy. What are you thinking for piping? Burgundy. burgundy. Just Think five burgundy? Yeah. Okay, can you give me the piping? Just two, two and one. No, one and one. One, one and one. We'll do one and one, yeah. Can I get the piping one second? Yeah, Mira brought up a great point, something that, uh, we didn't ask you yet. Here is your new jacket. Here is the new lining. We will pipe the interior. And I think we should pipe it in either a, like a black or a charcoal gray or a red like that. Oh, on the inside of the jacket, you mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can do the charcoal gray. Well, let's see if we can find one that we both like. Or even like a dark purple. What color you see here? I like this. What do you see? Uh, that is not uh, like no, what, brown. Just have the color. Brown. Brown. I still like it though. Yeah. In the lining, what do you see? Do you see black or midnight? Midnight. Yeah, okay. I see midnight as well. This is black, this is midnight. No, I'm saying in the lining. Do you see it as black or midnight? That is black, sir. You sure? Yes, sure. Black. Let's hang on to this midnight. I like it. What do you see here? Brown, dark yeah, brown. Like that, I like this. I think the black is too severe. Way too severe. Mm -hmm. Cannot use it's the black. Too dark. That red is too bright. You've got the other piping book. I just want to give him a burgundy sample, or like a not 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 necessarily yeah. burgundy, but. Yeah, what do you see here? Purple. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Right. Purple. So that purple goes good as well. No, I don't like that at all. Sorry, uh, but just uh, this is what I like for the piping inside. I actually really like that midnight blue. I think it stacks up really well. I also like this dark chocolate here. I also like this color here. I think this is a great color. This is different. Mm -hmm. Let's use this for the piping. Okay. You're happy with that? You find it attractive? Sure. I think it looks great. Okay, wonderful. Any more questions? That was quick question. But I think we're done. Thank you so much for your time, bro. Sorry to take up so much of your time. I'm super excited. This is no going problem. to be Thank you. just phenomenal. Okay? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. I appreciate you. You put so much trust and faith in me. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so humbled by you. You know what I mean? I actually, you know, there's no COVID, bro. First time we spoke, bring your family to Hong Kong. Yeah, no COVID, you're right. Okay? All good. God bless you. Yeah. Sleep well. All take care. Bye. Great call. Everybody happy? Process straight away. Who is it? Simon? Yes, call yes sir. Simon. Uh, I'll go through the WhatsApp with you when I'm done with the Q&A.
check the old chat, look for his WhatsApp okay. and city, okay. and then write it down for me. Okay. Thank you, Durji. Nice call, yeah? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with me. I will take questions now. Uh, if you want me to uh, answer any questions. Uh, Daniel, you know, I appreciate you being with me and stuff. And I don't know if it was a fabulous consultation, to be honest, right? Um, I'll be very honest with you. Like when I met Bart, who's a very conservative guy, and, you know, I think I pushed him quite hard because we worked together a lot and stuff. And I'm just wasn't in the mood to push him because there's a big gap. Uh, I'm also, would I say that I'm rusty? Yeah, of course. I'm not streaming every single day. So am I rusty? Do I look like Clark Kent? I'm the Indian Clark Kent right now, right? Quality service always, Hakuna. I appreciate you. So some hellos, Daniel watching broad streams, Chris, Chris Leov, Tan May Bart here, film guy, Tim McLaughlin. <laughs> I miss you. Come to Hong Kong. Swarnik, Luca, uh, I met, I'm, how can you not see me since the pandemic? Yakaroni, I appreciate you. I'm here all the time. Danielle, I appreciate you and all of you watching. Like Jelly Good and Plasa and Sish and Upchuck and Robil and Hakuna Matata and Gabriela Scoto and Ty and Josh and Simone Scotty and James. I appreciate all of you guys. Vinyl Charms, it is fascinating. This is, you know, sort of what I do all the time. I get new materials in. I, I know this, this is an exaggeration, but it seems like almost every single day. And it's interesting that you should ask me this, Swaniti. Because my dad sent deep to pick up like a, a truckload of fabrics uh, yesterday. And, you know, I wanted to show them to Bart, but I think they've been put upstairs in the lounge. Uh, Yakaroni, yeah, you can draw me. Sounds good to me. Uh, Randy, I appreciate you, but I mean, I, you know, I'm online every single day. I post a unique video, at least one unique video every single day. Uh, I don't live stream as often as I used to just because I'm busier in the store, right? COVID was like, you know, being like CNN in Kuwait, right? Broadcasting all day, every day. Um, but I'm definitely around. The best color, there's no best color. You know what I mean? It's, it's all... It's all I'd hesitate to say re re relative. It's it's about where you are in your wardrobe right now. You know what I mean? What's best for you is not necessarily best for somebody else. I need to know what situation you are in right now before I recommend. The lining is is uh, <coughs> uh, Bemberg, Japanese Bemberg. Uh, Christina, you can follow me anywhere. I'm at Sam Taylor on every single platform, even the Chinese ones. Matt Simpkins, I'm located in Hong Kong. I didn't want to push him towards anything, Thomas. Uh, Ron Tonkin, I never went anywhere. I'm, I'm always at the forefront of everything, but I appreciate you. Uh, suit will cost 1,000 US dollars for a bill. I appreciate you, Robert Trent. Yeah, I think I'm Robert Wren. I, I think I'm hilarious. I appreciate you. I'm extremely well articulated, CJ. I pride myself in that. And in fact, I look down upon people, including my own children, uh, for not being as articulate as I am, and my own father, and my staff, and everybody on the planet who's not as articulate as me. And I'm easily swept, swept off my feet by people who are articulate. Tiago and anybody else, if you want to work with me, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website. Uh, I can make you something amazing then, or I can send a representative to the nearest major city that you are in. The suit started at $1,000. US uh, Thank you so much, Michael Friedman. Yes, I do a lot of work with Tom Segura. Here is my watch today, Otto Witt. It That's the thing, Tiago, one, you get it. 1,000 US dollars is so cheap. You told me yesterday, yeah. 1,000 US dollars is so cheap considering how much I put into this and what you're getting. You have to buy a suit to get anything. My watch is nuts, right? The Wigiana. <laughs> 
Yeah, the br lining fabric is all brilliant. How are you, Jack? How are you, Seesh? Uh, Kevin Bates, this is my watch. Passive. Everyone's loving the watch today. Wow. Uh, Raj, you can have whatever you want. Fat Nero from Mexico. I am only into gorgeous over 18 women. You can have any amount of vents you want, Raj, but I mean, <laughs> you cannot beat my fucking suit globally. You cannot beat my fucking suit. I mean, how the fuck, you, you, you tell me how the fuck you can beat this suit. Look look at the waist thing. I mean, there's a fucking stick stuck to me. It's a gift wrapped. I mean, I, you know, people throw around the word gangster, right? So loosely. I mean, how, how, how is this not gangster? The favorite suit I ever made, I think, was a light gray Piacenza 50% wool, 50% cashmere suit that I made for Art Friedland. Uh, but I'm just giving you an answer, Michael Friedman. Uh, it really doesn't fucking matter. So, Chris Lop, right? Like, uh, I'm not uh, the uh, Encyclopedia Britannia, nor do I want to be, and I'm not being a dick to you. It does not matter to me whether they are or they are not, and they definitely are, certain areas of the world that prefer certain colors and what are they? For example, Japanese prefer black. <laughs> All that matters to me is to bring my client's vision to life. Okay? I'm, I don't force trends. I don't study trends. I'm not interested in fucking trends or the next big thing, whatever. My job is to bring my client's vision to life. My suit is a Chiruti suit. Chiruti 1881. It will cost 10,000 US dollars, but I don't need to. You can have the exact same fucking suit from me. Okay? The exact same suit but not Chiruti 1881 fabric. Still great fabric, I don't have anything bad. In double breasted for 1,250 US dollars. But my suit is 10,000 US dollars. My shirt started 150 US dollars. Here's me flexing the watch again just for you, S. Balajmi. I don't work with anything synthetic, so no polyester in the fabrics whatsoever, Blas. Conk C. I, I think that, you know, the olive was great and he could have gone in any direction. D. Thornton. I, I can work with anybody from anywhere on the globe. Delma, send me your measurements to the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make you something amazing or let me know the nearest major city to you and I'll send a rep to you. Um, in order to exercise that second option, it has to be a committed purchase. I can't send a rep to you and you end up not buying. Uh... I don't really give a shit how you interpret the look of my watch. My watch is fucking stunning. Um, I'm just perfect in any way, Chris Love. I'm going to say bye to uh, Instagram soon. Everybody gets gift wrapped if they want to. Anthony Blinken, right? Jeffrey Ponte, thank you. I'm in China, yes. Hong Kong is a city in China. Hello, Hannah Los Lucy. Simon, thank you for the gift. I appreciate gifts that you guys send me here, but you're better off just buying a suit from me, buying my merch from plentyofconsent.com. The merch is so cheap. I can sign merch for you. I can make you a personalized video or just buying a personalized video from me on my cameo, Roshan Malwani, uh, rather than sending me gifts here because the platform will take 50% of whatever you send. Hello, Rigby. There are plenty of youthful Chinese males on my YouTube. I appreciate you, Greg. Daniel, you're just a sweetheart, you know what I mean? Such a sweetheart, you and Lisa. It's incredible. I'm not coupling you two. It's telling you, the two of you are just so good to me. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's just amazing. I just did a video consultation. Oh my goodness, Momo. <laughs> you think I jumped out to bark shit with you guys? I'm going to say bye. Huh? Instead, it's going to shut down in any second. No, handheld steamer from Amazon is great.
by the hand, handheld steamer.